Today I'm attempting to walk from here all the way way past downtown to the other side of Portland crossing nine bridges, 18 miles, and the journey begins now. It's seven in the morning, it's raining out, I had a crazy idea. I want to walk across every bridge in Portland, and I want to do it in a day. Well, then do it! Go on! Is this a good idea? All right, we are in Selwood. Here's the plan. I'm gonna zigzag across the river on all bridges where pedestrians are allowed. I'll be sharing all my failures and my successes along the way, but I need to be done by five to get to the Blazer game by seven. Let's go. All right, I think we're officially done with Selwood Bridge. Next bridge is like an hour away. Time to get walking. Nature appreciation moment. And we're back. Already tired of walking. Wish I had a bike right about now. I thought this would be a good challenge to just see the city that I've lived in for six years, but don't really know super well. Hopefully this turns into something that is really fun to do and fun to watch. Why am I out of breath walking? Well, because I'm out of shape. All right, next bridge, Ross Island right there. Bridge number two. My goal is to kind of stay off the main road, so I'm on this like Willamette Trail right next to the river. Two and a half miles in, almost to the second bridge. I'm tired, already had a little bit of a wardrobe change. Bought the pant legs up, took the jacket off. So I found this pedestrian bridge, which is awesome because it means I don't have to pay to take uh, the air tram. There's no sidewalk on this side. Officially on Ross Island, but this is sketchy. That's my next bridge and I cannot wait to get it. That is the Tilkin Crossing. This is Ross Island. Ross Island Bridge sucks and I just realized I have a race against the clock. I have a blazer game to go to in about seven hours and I've only done two bridges. We have to go. Made it to Tillicum Crossing, which is like the best pedestrian bridge in Portland, but I'm kind of upset. I'm not walking along there, which that's where OMSI is. There's some like food carts down there, but this is bridge number three. There's a bunch more in a row right here, high density of bridges, but I think we're running behind. So once again, gotta speed this up. It's turned out to be a beautiful day in Portland. Look at that. Unreal. Done with Tillicum Crossing, that's three down. Next up, Hawthorne Bridge. It's probably about a mile and a half, and I think we're back on pace. Tell me how there's a banana tree in the middle of Portland. I'm just about to cross Hawthorne Bridge, but I'm getting pretty hungry, and I just wanted like tacos and cerveza, but they're all like outside. I'd have to take a big detour and I'm already close on time, so I think I'm just gonna go and if I find something, I'll stop and eat there. So this bridge is like metal grates, and when you drive on it, it pulls you one way or the other. Number four, pretty easy to get up and on. Uh, it's just a real short walk across, which is pretty cool. I think I'm back on track. I don't need to rush, except the last bridge is way north. I think those cars are actually slowing down. They think that my camera was a radar gun. A few cars just like slammed on their brakes. But anyway, uh, this is Morrison Bridge. Big pink, right over there. Moda Center, let's go Blazers. And uh, yeah, you got waterfront. Totally didn't realize that this is the fifth bridge. So we're now more than halfway done. It is getting very hot. I mean, hot for me, it's probably 55. I'm an Oregon boy and can't can't handle the heat. Walked by Voodoo. Definitely the best branding, but not the best donuts in Portland. Why did you move back to New York? And I was like, I don't know, I just really love the ambiance and like there's such a charm to the city, you know? Well, we made it, Burnside Bridge. It's a bummer. Walking through all the homeless encampments, people yelling, screaming, peeing on buildings. It's different than I remember, that's for sure. But regardless, we made it to bridge number six, I believe. Burnside Bridge. We're so close, but I am so hungry, and I don't have any more water. 
I'm a little bit behind, so I gotta keep moving. Hopefully after Steel Bridge, I'll have time to grab a bite. Then I gotta get home, get ready for the game. Off this bridge, then I get to take this cool little like water walkway all the way around. Exploring Portland, and I freaking love it. We haven't crossed yet, but I'm just counting it. Steel Bridge, number seven. One more to go, and then way up to St. John's. I got this cool train right here. Um, I'm not really a train person, but I now see each one of these has like a number on it. Apparently, there's train nerds that like nerd out on the special numbers. It's 73962. Oh, it's it! That's it! If you're a Portlander, you know this train. You've been stuck behind this train. It's been going for about 10, 15 minutes now and there's no end in sight. I can see all the, I can see like a mile of it still going. I'm glad I'm walking. Although, I hope it doesn't cut me off up there. A few moments later. Stuck. Goodbye, old friend. I feel like I got to know you. Ran into the scooter gang a few times on my trip. They were filming a bunch of stuff. Uh, hadn't spent much time up this way, but really, really liked it. Kind of very neighborhoody. Has the coolest look to it. I'm on this side of the motor center. Sweet. Finally got to Broadway Bridge. I, I like this part of town. I remember got T-Bar. One of my favorite places. And then I've got my climbing gym over there. Definitely been in this area, but there's some cool areas that I walked through that I'd never been. So this is Broadway Bridge, and I absolutely love it. I love the color. I might, brick red is just one of my favorite colors. But here's the thing. I just looked up how far it is to Cathedral Park. Two hours, 21 minutes, almost seven miles of walking. It says I'm gonna get there at 432, which then I have to cross the bridge, which is five. Then I have to get home. It's gonna be cutting it tight. I am going to probably put the camera away and just hustle my buns, do a little speed walk action like one of these numbers. Quite worried about time because uh, I have six miles to go. 6.3 miles actually, and that's not even across the bridge. Once I do it, I'm gonna have to grab an Uber and get me back home. My arms are tired, everything's tired. I haven't even eaten yet either. Just getting to Fremont Bridge. We're getting there slowly but surely. Don't call me Shirley. I don't know what way Google Maps is taking me, but I'm in some industrial stuff. I'm pretty hungry. Um, but I have to keep going. We're gonna make it. I think just in the nick of time. Hour 58, 5.6 miles. I have a bridge spotting right there. 5.5 miles away, but I can see it. My feet hurt, I'm hungry, and I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm dumb. Megan doesn't know I'm doing this. Uh, I'm hungry. Slightly better. We are under five miles. 4.4 miles. 3.7 more miles. Just changed my music up to some classic rock. Two and a half miles. Let's freaking go. Two miles to St. John's Bridge. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my gosh. I'm exhausted. Guess Hoplandia it is. I'd love to have a beer. Ooh, Rip City. Yes, I'm going to the game tonight. Yeah. I cannot believe I did it. And I completed what I'm calling the PDX Bridge Challenge. Now I have to take public transport because Ubers are too expensive. All right, I can't lie. I folded and took an Uber. How's your day going? Goodbye, my Uber. Bye. 
$5 tickets. A really low scoring game, 40 to 48 and a half. Little 